Two five on three. One, two, three. Two, two five. five. guys.
Oh boy. Yeah. Guys, welcome back. Welcome I'm back. Carl, and uh, welcome to the 11th. Is it 11? It's the 11th? 11th week, week, week of Youth Group Live, our second to last one. I'm so excited to be here with you guys. Yeah. It's uh, uh, St. Thomas Assembly, um, Newville AG, yeah. uh, Christian Life AG, and obviously we're being hosted by Bethel, Bethel. AG. We couldn't be more excited to be with you tonight. Pastor right. Aaron's going to be finishing our series out tonight on, on Love Hate, so he's going to be preaching later this evening. Yeah. Um, a couple interesting games that we haven't played yet. I'm so excited to oh, tell yeah. you about those. We've got... Um, the oh, we got rid of the caption contest because I'm just being honest with you, Daniel and I couldn't come up with funny caption <laughs> captions. We're just not funny. I don't Absolutely. know. Uh, yeah. Anyways, um, so we got rid of the caption contest, but we do have a lyric game which I'm excited to share with you guys. And what else? Oh, yeah. What else is going on this week and next week? Dude, we got a bunch of awesome things that we are just excited to roll out. Uh, but one thing that we definitely want to really remind you about is youth group I live am so excited. next week, dude. I know. Next week. Next week. Next, like literally seven days from now. Seven days. Isn't that crazy? Seven. Dude, less, we are pumped. less than eight, more than six. <laughs> That's true. Seven days. But we are pumped, and we hope that you are pumped as well. Like, let me just tell you. I'm sweating. Make sure that you excited. are buying your tickets and getting them ready. I mean, look, I got two in my pocket ready to go. For students, they are just $2 each Two bucks, and all your proceeds are going straight to Speed the Light. So even better. And then if you're a youth leader and you want to tag along or you want to drive students a whole way to Bethel here, mm, man, yep. it's just five bucks for you. Five bucks giving to missions. So don't even think of it as a cost, but an offering to missions. Is so there just a senior citizen that. discount? 50 cents, maybe? I don't know, okay. man. Okay, I just wanted to know. I have, a, I have a senior or two in my youth staff. That, Got you. Yeah. You talking like a 12th grade senior? Sh shout out to uh, no, 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 senior like. Yeah. Okay. Shout right. out to Ryan Hunter. It is what it is, man. Love you, dude. Yeah, but hey, let's <laughs> let's kick off tonight. Let's start by talking about our winners yes. from Home Hunt last time, uh -huh. or from no, from our games last week, from Awkward Family Photos. And they were awkward. They I was were uncomfortable. Awkward. Very uncomfortable. They were pretty let's awesome. Let's get them up on the so, screen. Yeah. Yeah. All right. So the first game, the first awkward home. Not, why do I keep saying awkward home hunt? I don't know. Let's this is awkward it. that yeah. I keep saying that. It's, it's literally it's awkward, awkward family I've photos. I've never noticed. What's awkward? All right. Awkward family photos number one that you had to get is you had to find an awkward family photo and send it to us via the uh, via text message and so the first one that we got is this one right here we should preface why this is uncomfortable <laughs> it yeah. is pretty uncomfortable so this right is here the Kaufman family and what's most uncomfortable about this is they're loving just the leaves and there's the fall, four I guess the there's foliage. four children and if you can count which I recently learned how to count there's only three but anyways, <laughs> yeah, that's uncomfortable. Let's go to the next one, which is um, a reenactment. I'm sorry, of an uncomfortable photo. And our, our winner for this picture is, uh, oh, boy, which church is this at? St. Thomas, dude. Yeah. This is St. Thomas's old sanctuary. So there's two people blinking. And two people with their eyes open. So we're not really and sure in this photo yes. if the option, if the... If you, what so you were supposed to do is like to keep your eyes open or to show them. Anyways, congratulations to the winner. Um, we are uh, about to go into uh, tonight's first interactive home game. We have another. We have another one. Awkward. Yeah, awkward family photos. Okay. Part two. So this ah. one, we wanted you to create your own awkward family photo. And so as we look through those real quick, this one actually topped our favorites list. Uh, this one was Alyssa Oliphant's entry. Ah. She said this in. She is the little girl in the red dress in this photo. Super funny. Um, let's move like to a, the next a for real one. Doll. That's yeah. Number two, just awkward family. This girl and her cat. It is a nice cat. Yeah. Um, but you can definitely tell that girl's looking at you in the soul. I don't know whose student that the is, but I'd watch out. Be there. Yeah, take a look over your shoulders. Tonight. All right, and our next one, final one for this. Uh, oh, no, I guess we have two. Yeah, we do. Two winners. All right, so this yeah. one, Kudos super this awkward. Dude. These guys Good don't place. know that their underwear goes on their bottom, yeah. not on their head. Well, I don't know. Sometimes I wear my – it doesn't matter. Well, it doesn't matter. And then last but not least, whoo. Family photo of awkwardness Shout out to Kayla here. Yeager. Yes. yes. We don't know what's in your hand, but it looks like a taser, so we're not going to mess with you. It's something. Yes. Jeez. Hey, so I we have I Home did. Hunt tonight, right? That's true, man. That's true. We have Home Hunt, and, and tell you what, tonight is the last and final Home Hunt that we are going to do. Hallelujah. It's going to be awesome, and we're bringing our best, so we hope mm -hmm. that you bring your best. And so let's jump right to that Home Hunt here. We're going to give you three minutes to find as many of the objects as uh, listed on your screen around your house. Find as many of them as you can. Send a picture to 717-454-2625. 
and uh, we'll get you in for the drawing. You have three minutes starting now. All right, you have a minute and a half left. Half of your time is already gone. Find those objects all around your house, snap a photo, and send it to us. All right, you have 30 seconds, 30 seconds left to find the rest of the items in your house, snap a picture, send it to 717-454-2625. glad I learned how to count because otherwise tonight would not go so well. Hey, listen, if you're with us tonight, we want to let you know that we're experiencing some pretty severe thunderstorms. So if we lose you, we're really sorry. We even got texts in the meantime uh, from a couple of our students letting us know that uh, they had power shut down and they were transferring to cellular service. So again, apologies if we lose you. I'm so excited to tell you guys about uh, um, Spelling Bee. We're bringing it back because we've never been more uncomfortable than we, we were trying to prove our intelligence or lack thereof. Uh, through Spelling Bee. And so last time we did theological terms. This time it's Spelling Bee names in the Bible. I'm pretty stoked. So the rule is, guys, please don't look at the screen because <laughs> obviously you're going to know. I'm going to give you the name and then I'm going to use that name in a sentence and uh, we're going to go down the line and you're going to spell, spell the name. You guys ready? Let's start with our very favorite, Pastor Danielle. Go ahead. I also called you my favorite, which isn't true. I'm not going to tell you who my favorite is, but whatever. Okay, name number one, Abednego, used in a sentence. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm waiting for the sentence. Uh -huh. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, we do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. Abednego. See, off the bat, I'm, you, I'm, already, I'm already confused in my head about this one. Definitely uh, A to start. A, B, <laughs> yes, E, uh huh, D, yeah, N, uh huh, E, G, O. Well done, wow. Daniel Man, Bricker. Nice. Oh Excellent goodness. point for Daniel. I'm Daniel, I have down. to say that I really thought you were starting with the letter C on that one. Yeah, I thought oh. so. Also, I was like, really? It's definitely a silent C. Did I start to say C? You, you said C. 
Oh. Like, as, yeah. Oh, right, no, no, no. I was making a statement. Aaron, up I'm to impressed. the mic. Next name, please. All right, here I am. Hey, sorry oh, I had to on. lower that. Just this is like... For the record, I didn't bother, like, studying this before I came here. Okay. I'm, I didn't see it on the screen, but I do know it's up there, so... Eliasaf. Eliasaf. El Eliasaf. Eliasaf. Can Eliasaf. I hear it in a scripture? Yes. <laughs> on the sixth day, Eliasaf, son of... Oh, come on. Deul, the leader of the people of Gad, brought his offering. Gad! Okay, can you use it in the message translation? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. Eliasaph, we're going with E-L-I-A-S-A-P-H. Well done, Pastor Aaron. Wow. Run up for Ooh, Pastor that's A. That's impressive. Is that your middle name, man? It is. Oh, that's how. What is okay. your middle name? Nice. Michael. Okay. <laughs> All right, Mike, let's get you up here. Right. Michael Jordan. <laughs> What's yours? Wait, what's your middle name? Take a guess. Oh, well, Something I don't have dumb, time. I bet. All right, let's get, let's get Mike. Mike, the name, oh, I keep the name is Methuselah. 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 When Enoch had lived 65 years, he became the father of Methuselah. 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 All right. So, M E T H. Yeah. S. Louder, Mike. S, I said. <laughs> S-A-L-A? I don't think that's right. So close. You had it up to the S. It was probably my fault because I put you on the, on, the, <laughs> on the pressure there. Holy smokes. Do you hear the rain? Do you I'm hear sorry? the rain? It's loud. Yeah. We that's all hear the rain here, but you guys crazy. cannot. It's pretty loud. So do, wanna, do we get to steal it? Yep. Daniel's up to try and spell it. Daniel, uh, did you already say, can we rock, spell paper, it? scissors to see who gets to go? Daniel, go up. Yeah, all right. Here you go. M-E-T-H. Uh, I should have been paying more attention when he was the first time. Uh, M-E-T-H. Give me the name again. Methuselah. M-E-T-H-A? No. I got it. Go ahead. Yep. If it's not evident, Methuselah. M-E-T-H-E-S-U-L-A-H. Nope. nope. Darn it. You know where it gets everyone is the U. There's a U. Are we allowed U. to look at it? Methuselah. But, but Mike Methuselah. had that. Pastor Mike had that. Mike yeah, had I said U S. Yeah. Oh, Selah at the end. Selah. I should have knew that. Yeah. Okay. It's easy when you can yeah. see it. Well done. If it's not evident by yeah. now, we clearly like haven't the studied these no, beforehand. Right, so Let's get the next name up there. Daniel Bricker. You oh, do I get to go again? Yep. Cool. This oh, I'm sorry. That is, it started with the same letter, so I was thrown off. Mahalalel. You are lying. To nope. Me. I love it. <laughs> Mahalalel. When Mahalalel had lived 65 years, he became the father of Jared. A normal name. Okay, yeah, we couldn't Jared? have gone with Jared. Have, uh, he went to Jared. One more time. Mahalalel. M. A. <laughs> yes. Well M -A -H done. M A H. A L. Uh huh. E L. A L. Something L. I I lost track honestly, so I'm just gonna give it to you. Well done, Daniel. But, I, was I right or was I wrong? <laughs> yeah, I think you were right. No you knows. can't do that. No, one more time. It There's was wrong. So many, one more time. Spell it fast. I was wrong. running out of time. Oh, it was wrong. Oh, thank you, man. Shout out to you, Abby. Well, she kind of gave away yeah, the answer. Yeah, she gave away the so. answer, so nobody gets that one. <laughs> All right, Aaron, you are up. M A H A L. Mahalalel. Yeah. It's the Lilalalas that get you. All right. Oh, this one's, he's getting the easy ones. Zerubbabel. Zerubbabel. In a scripture, what are you, mighty mountain? Before Zerubbabel, you will become level ground. Then he will bring out the capstone to shouts of God bless it. God bless it. Have you ever watched the National Spelling Bee? You could do this. Can you really? That's true. Yeah. Have you? It's I like ESPN. The clearly, I didn't study okay. my, my spelling bee rules, evidently. Z E R U B A B. False. E ah. Good try. Mike, you want to give it a shot? I guess. Zerubbabel. It's like awkward. Okay. Um, all right. So Z E R U B. A, B. Sorry, Mike. Oh. It's good. It's a tough one. Man. Z, E, R, E. 
sorry, Pastor Daniel. You want to one more try? One more try? Did you look at it? I, I mean, did. it's up there. I did. <laughs> the answer is no. Yeah. You know where I got that everyone, that guys? See? Is that there's a double B. I was trying to say it. Anyways, let's get. I'm learning that if you break it in half, it makes it easier. I'm up. Mike, you are up. Let's get our name up here. Clearly, writing it doesn't help. Ah, <laughs> uh, dude, I can't help you with this one. What? Reuma. Re- I t- I'm trying so hard. Can I have a second Re- pronunciation? Reuma. 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 Roomba. Hi, hi, hi. Roomba like the vet. No, 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 no. Reuma. Reuma. Ah, Pastor Joe's watching, and I know he's he's ashamed. Okay. Let's just skip this one. Yeah, next okay, one. Okay, all right, next okay. one. Oh, thank goodness. If we can't pronounce it, we probably <laughs> can't spell it. Yikes. Ahuzath. <laughs> Say it again. No. What? <laughs> ah- Ahuzath. 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 Did I mispronounce that, guys? Probably. I have no clue. All right, so. I, I don't know because I can't see it. doesn't matter. But I'm yeah, guessing so. Ahuzath. Ahuzath. Go ahead. Try one more time. Okay. Ahuzath. Didn't look. All right, A H. Yeah. All right. All right, got that. Wow, surprised. <laughs> um, okay, so A H O. I'm sorry, Mike, and I, I mean that sincerely. Like I'm really sorry. <laughs> no, I feel better about it. I don't Pastor know. Daniel, want to give that one a shot? Ahuza. A H U. Yes. Z. Uh huh. E-T-H? No, I'm sorry. There's like a principle when it comes to Hebrew names that, oh, you looked. Yeah, I know it. Yeah. Okay. Ah, man. A-H-U-Z-Z-E-T-H? No. I'm sorry. It was A-T-H. Ahuzah. The double letter. The double letter gets us All right, no one's getting that one. Pastor Daniel, you are up, my friend. Let's get a name. Go ahead and pronounce it for us, Pastor Carl. Move Mupim? Mupin? I just want to say, this I don't even know what book fair. it's from, and that's how I'm so frustrated. <laughs> I think it's not. Mupim. Thanks M- for preparing for this game. <laughs> <laughs> One more time. Just try. <clears throat> Mupim, in a sentence. I don't think the sentence The sons is of help. Benjamin, Bella, Becker, <clears throat> Ashbel, Jira, Naman, Ehi, Rosh, and uh, don't even Nupim. don't even worry about the sentence. <laughs> okay. Don't even worry about the sentence. Just one more time, the word will be fine. Mapim. M M A P H I M. Nope. I, I don't know. I, <laughs> Pastor Aaron. She is it. And any relation to maybe the Muffin Man's family? As a Ma- matter of fact, a descendant of the third. Okay. No one more time. Mapim. Mapim. <laughs> M U and mm-hmm. we're just gonna go for it. P P yep. I N. I'm gonna wrong? give it to you because it was my pronunciation that ruined it. I oh, am. I am. M. M. Yeah, that was dude, good though. That was M. good though. Well done, Pastor wow. Aaron. That was And good. how would you have pronounced that, by the way, without any previous knowledge? Any differently M- than M- me? Him, I, would I just want to make sure that I'm not M- M- entirely M- dumb. M- Pastor Aaron's actually up. Oh, yeah, okay, it's yeah. your turn. All right, let's get a word up here. It is. Jazil, Jazil. In a sentence, it says, "The sons of Naphtali, Jazil, Guni, Jazer, and Shilem." Yeah, I think I got this. J a z e e l. No. Oh, oh. I, th- I think look Pastor Mike. I did look at it. Do you want me to put the? Just I'm going to help Pastor Mike out. Jazil. Oh, all right. <laughs> what? Okay. Jazil. You know, when you try to make it better, it, it sometimes it makes, it, makes worse? it worse. You know, my, right, so J-A-H, my family tells me that. I'm guessing. Z E E L. You set so him sorry. up for success. I'm just going to be honest. I'm so sorry. Go ahead, Pastor Daniel. I'm going to go out on a limb here. J. Say it one more time. Jazil. J A H. Uh huh. Z Z. No. The double Z. We finally it committed Z- to the double. Yeah, we, know, the right? whole time it's, it's it. been two letters. J two the same A H Z I. Okay, so the one time there's so not sorry. two letters in a row is the Pastor time I go Mike, for you it. you handsome devil. All right, man, I'm ready. Oh, this one's this easy. This is frustrating. Zadok. 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 In a sentence, won't the priests Zadok and Abiathar be there with you? Tell them anything you hear in the king's palace. All right, so Zadok. 
Z A D D O C H. We committed and we uh, <laughs> we have now. Dude, I'm, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I didn't put this together. <laughs> Pastor Daniel, uh, can you read it one more time? Zadok. Z A D O C H. I'm sorry. There's only one other way to spell it. Pastor Aaron's uh, got to get it. All right, ready? Yeah. Z Z A A D D O O K K. Every letter is twice. Yep. Z A D O K. So that one's out the window. Pastor Daniel, it's you, dude. That's a great. Oh, that's it. Okay. Well, actually, who won? No. Yeah, Pastor Aaron. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, guys. You did. Daniel got one. Aaron got two. My God, I don't know how I got two. But uh, all right, um, we tried. We yeah, did. I think because I gave you one that I was like, it was worth the effort. I'm Thanks. sorry. It's okay. Oh man, was well. I got a trophy. I'm sorry. Congrats. Yeah, that was uncomfortable and different. Di- I like doing different. Speaking of different, yeah, we have another spot to difference for you, which yeah. I is my, personally my favorite game because I this. remember them from the highlights at the dentist's office. Can we get that up on the screen, guys? Dentist? Get a little countdown. They're remember gonna... to text the number on the screen. Uh, we have uh, a little timer up there for you. You're going to have three minutes, three, three minutes, whole minutes you. to uh, spot the difference. There's six of them in total in between the two pictures. See if you can figure them out in the next three minutes. down to two minutes left two minutes to find six differences it doesn't sound that hard but we struggled with it hopefully you guys do better than us Down to one minute remaining, one minute left to find six differences between the photos. Text us your answers, see who can find them all. seconds to go 20 seconds to go see if you can find those answers text them to us one all right well hopefully you guys found all of those man that was a that was a tough challenge to spot the difference in all of those, my goodness. Um, 
so we got a couple people to text us in, which is great. Let's see um, the answers. I'm I'm curious. All right, yeah. To be let's honest, do that. when we looked at these, it was kind of tough. Let's check out the answers let's first. See what those so you guys will throw were. that up. You can see right there. First and foremost is Thanos's glove, and then we removed a toilet paper roll. Oh, you slippery fixins. And then we swapped. We actually turned around. The little uh, Dundee Award, if you will, the little if gold you, if figure. If you found the award, that that was like the hidden gem. Yeah, that, that was, was a hard one. Uh, we swapped two of the board games, so Above and Below and Seasons, I believe. And then we actually changed one of the bobbleheads, moved them around, and then we added a second chair, which you would have to look under the table for. That was Pretty tough. crazy. That was, that was tough. Yeah, We, it was we tough. made it, and it was tough. Extremely tough. It was. Yeah. So who who uh, who came right closest now? On it that? looks like uh, we have the Swan family. All right. So nice. uh, Ella and Sam, okay. they they appear to be uh, the top top dog there. Wow. Nice. Yeah. Well, so good job, guys. This one was a tough one. That stuff. Yeah. Congrats to all. You have to have a really for, like good 4K TV for that. Yeah. <laughs> to see all the the intricate <laughs> right. details. We'll yeah. be able to zoom in, guys. Yeah. yeah for sure. Come on now. So anyway, that was pretty cool. So we're glad that you uh, spotted some of the differences. Uh, we actually had to kind of change things up, throw an audible out there and change up some differences uh, for us as well. We were going to play the game um, caption challenge next, but we are now going to switch and we're actually playing a game called Guess the Lyric Google Translate Edition. Mm. Ooh. So... Uh, Huge fan of Google Translate. Thank yeah. you for helping me through Latin class. All yeah, Google's years. pretty awesome. It's awesome how much they can translate. But as you guys all know, and I'm sure you users at home, you know just as well, Google doesn't always get everything 100% right. Ever. <laughs> so, Except uh, the ads that are directed towards me. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. They certainly know what we like. Yeah. So what we're going to do here is we are going to... Um, throw up a song title, and uh, basically here's the instructions. You're gonna, the three youth pastors on the couch are going to guess the song title, and after it has been translated into another language from English, it was then translated back to English so from that English, language. English, some random language, back to English. Back to English, man. And so technically translated three times, and we're going to have to figure out. And Google later. sure tried its best, I'm sure. Okay, so... so it, um, yeah, so here we go. This is what's going to happen is I'm going to go ahead and read the lyrics on the screen. Okay. And you guys are each going to kind of tell me what song or what, what the title of the song is. And, you know, hopefully you what get it think? right here. Okay. So, all right. So, all right, so here's, a, here's an example before we start. Amazing Grace translated into Japanese, then back to English <laughs> on Google Translate looks like this. So Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me. I once was lost. But now I'm found was blind, but now I see. Was amazing elegance, how sweet it saved a wretch man like me. Once I was lost, but now I found it. <laughs> I was blind, but I am now, or I'm looking now. So, so <laughs> pretty much we're taking it from like the ESV to the Passion Translation. <laughs> oh, back right, to the or the oh, yeah. back, basically. <laughs> and back to whatever okay. translation you all think. Right. So, all right, here we go. All right, so... The first one, I guess, uh, that you guys, so don't look at the screen. All right. Yep. Oh, my the bad. first one, here we go, says, all my friends are pagans. Take it slow. Wait to ask you what you know. Please do not make sudden moves. You do not know half of abuse. <laughs> you want me to read it again uh, real quick? I, I, think we're good. I think I'm good. Uh, one more time. All Real, right. Like super fat. Like right. you don't even have to. All my friends are pagans. I got Take it. it. Don't e yep, slow. you're fine. Okay. Yep. I'm good. So are we going to do uh, go in order or just first one? What's that look like? Well, I'm just all on three, the song title on three. Can I just say this? Carl looks the most nervous. So Carl, can yeah. I actually have you <laughs> go? I, ca uh, I, can't, I can't remember the name of the song, nor can I accurately remember the name of the uh, the the artist Damn. except something pilots uh 31 pilots uh, that's mm -hmm. not right not uh, quite but uh uh shoot that's okay, all i got give us, okay <laughs> yeah, shoot. that's all i got something all right by all right pastor aaron will you go next um my guess is the the title is heathens by 21 pilots ah, yes, <laughs> 31 nice. and in my defense honor system also had heathens by 21 pilots so. all right no, good 31 job, pilots was close though good job that's a tough one that Just was a tough one. i don't know if i would have known that one um, so, okay, look forward. All right, here we go. Next wait, wait, one. So we got it right? 
You guys got it right. Okay, okay. So Pastor Aaron and Pastor Daniel both got it right. Gotcha, gotcha. Pastor Carl, obviously. It's uh, fine. Not. I'm okay with it. All right, so question number two, or I guess, here we go, translate. Number two, I took that sun in my pocket. I have this good soul on my feet. I feel the warm blood in my body when it falls. I cannot make my eyes away from it. It moves so seemingly. It's that first line. I need it one more time, okay. that first line. I took that sun in my pocket. That's it. Oh. I have this good soul on my feet. I feel the warm blood in my body when it falls. I cannot make my Ooh. eyes away from it. It moves so seemingly. Do I get points if I can sing okay, it? Okay, I got it. Title? Can I go? Well, who right. wants to go first? Go ahead. Let's just go straight down the line Ooh. this time. So, Pastor Aaron, go ahead first. I think I'm wrong now, but I think it's a Colby Calais song. Mm -hmm. Ooh, no. no. Bubbly? No. Nope. No. Okay. Right. okay. Right, I, don't, I don't know the song, but it's Justin Timberlake. It is. I, yes. just, okay. I don't know what the song is. Featured in the hit film. Oh, you're right. Uh, Trolls. Well, what's the right, song? You got this, Pastor Carl? Well, what's the song called? I got this. Feel, got that feeling. Anyways, make a call, Carl. Close, Gosh, close. I don't know. Something feeling. I don't, I don't know. know. I that's think that's the first, your answer for everything. All right. Well, so <laughs> you guys, so what's a, what's no one called? got it fully right, what's song? but you guys can get partial credit for getting Ch Justin Timberlake, but it's Can't Stop Damn the Feeling. Not, I, man. So when I said Can't something feeling, feeling. <laughs> you, you guys, the song yeah. title is not something feeling. All right. Well, I'll give you props for getting Justin Timberlake. I don't, Half a point? Half a point? I never listened. Who's Colby Clay? All right. So look forward. Let's go on to number three. Here we go. All right. Here's the translate. I cannot be with you in my face. However, I love her. But I love her, oh. I cannot be with you in my face. However, I love her. But I love her, oh. That's really tough. I think I know. Nope. You know, I think I know it, but I'm not going to say it out loud because if I'm wrong, I don't want to say it out loud. <laughs> what do you all right, well, you know, Pastor Carl and Pastor Aaron have both started first. So, Daniel, yeah. you're up, my what? friend, to start first. Even if you don't know, I'll read it one more time. I cannot be with you in my face, however I love her, but I love her, oh. I cannot be with you in oh, my yeah. face, okay. however I love her, yeah. but I love her, oh. I, don't, I can't remember who sings it, but, but uh, Can't Feel My Face? The weekend. Can't Feel My Face when I'm with you. Okay. <laughs> yeah. It, All right. It's, so official it's, yeah, answer. Can't feel my face by the weekend. I can't, can't, can't feel my face, but I can't tell you who it's by. All right. Unless, Pastor Carl. Weekend. Is it the weekend? Yeah. All right. Positive. Well, yeah. I I knew the song not the All right. Words. Pastor Aaron, what were you gonna say? Photograph by uh, <laughs> Nickelback. I honestly didn't know it, so I'm not gonna pretend like I did. You're good. You're I good. I was afraid. Yeah. So a point a... goes to Pastor Carl fully there. Pastor no, Daniel, I didn't uh, get the title. I can't take. So the between point. Pastor Carl, okay. And so I, between we, the both of you, point. We, you formed we formed one point. full point. But I gave honest. Good job. <laughs> so <laughs> can't feel my face. And that's invaluable. Face, by the way, <laughs> and, that's, and that's invaluable. Because I'm uh, preaching tonight. Exactly. I I All right. Well. <laughs> Let's jump to question number four. Here we go. Uh, here's the translate. Oh no, you don't. Oh no, you do not talk back. Just keep your eyes on me while you are holding back. He shut up and dance with me. Oh. This woman is my end. He said, oh, oh, oh. Oh, man. What language? Oh, no. Is it translated into Klingon? Yeah, what? Does it say what it's translated to? Um, it says from English to Shanoa. Back to ah, English. Ah, Shanoa. I should have known. Okay, can you read that one more time? Yeah, man. I'm really oh, no. You game. do not talk back. Just keep your eyes on me. While you are holding back, he shut up and dance with me. This woman is my end. He said, oh, oh, oh. Is it a bad time to say I don't listen to secular music? <laughs> yeah, it's <laughs> for real. <laughs> Me either. I just. Uh, All right. Who team. knows? There's Shanoa the best. Here I'd... we go. Pastor Aaron, give us your answer. Uh, we are going with Jesus Freak by DC Talk. That's Love it. Love it. That's All right. a good yeah. answer. All right, Pastor Carl. Uh, is it Shut Up and Dance with Me by I can't give you the ar uh, artist. Okay. Yeah. All right, Pastor Dan, it? are you going to finish that one, my friend? Uh, I believe it is Shut Up and Dance by. Walk the moon? Bam, dude. That's, so, so you hit the nail the right on like, the head. That yeah, is it. Well done. That Pastor is Daniel. it. Well so done. point goes to Pastor Daniel. But mm. good job, I don't guys. know that it's Pastor good Aaron that I'm really winning liked your this. creativity on that answer, though. I was honest. Yeah, it's very it's good. good. It's honest. Very good. All right, question number five. Went from English to Icelandic, back to English again. Oh, pull me. Cool. And so here we go. Are you ready for the translate? Yes. yes. So baby, now. Take me into your loving weapon. Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars. Got Put it. your head on my heartbeat. I'm thinking high. Perhaps the love was right where we are. Pastor Mike, I just want to say I love 
just everything about the way that you're reading these. So, I honestly so think it's that, that's what's thrown me off. I'm really <laughs> can struggling. Can you give me again? You I think part of the problem is I've only known one of these songs like that I could like fully pick out. So. Can you read it one more time? <laughs> yeah. All right. So, baby, now take me into your loving weapon. Kiss me under the light of a thousand stars. Ooh. Put your head on my heartbeat. I'm thinking high. Perhaps the love was right where we are. All right, I'll start off and say I have no clue on artist or song. Do you want me to sing it to you? Do you know it? I do. I do. Okay, okay, I, let me guess my before. Wife. Let me guess it. Guess before you. All right, yeah, Pastor Aaron, give us your um, guess. I'm going uh, Ed Sheeran. The more I seek you. Dude, you got the artist <laughs> right. right. Okay. Yeah. I know. I, yeah. I just don't know right, the name. Oh, oh, it's all Pastor Aaron. The more look, I sorry. seek you. Is it perfect duet by Ed Sheeran and? Um, and uh, Beyonce, Beyonce, no, Beyonce, no. always. You guys both had Ed Sheeran. You guys, yeah, you guys got real close with the Ed Sheeran. The, that's obviously thinking it. out loud. Thinking out loud. Thinking the way you loud. read that really was like the the the, the throw off there. Sorry, yeah, I and don't know. Okay. No, it's how the song it, goes it makes it all. more fun. It makes it more fun. You're fine. As the French would say, poop yeah. on a stick. I feel like I'm singing. I think it they say it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's Anyways. So All right, y'all. English to Russian and back to English. Should be easy. My babushka told me this one. That's grandma for Russian. Okay, here we go. Is it? Yep. Ah. So embarrassing to me now. So embarrassing to me now. Okay. Fight me to places where I've never been. Now I'm lying on a cold, hard soil. Oh, oh, problems, problems, problems. Oh, oh, problems, problems, problems. Ooh, yeah. It, I'm, I'm halfway there. So I'm... Can we just make this easy for all prayer? of us? I it's think this is a T-Swift Taylor, 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 Taylor yeah. Swift, yeah. yeah. Swifty, Swifty. Okay. T Swift. This is the goat video. That's why I know it. <laughs> oh, I know it. Okay, I'm good. I'm T Swift on that. I'm I'm ready. Go ahead. It's Trouble by Taylor Swift. Well Trouble. Done. Yep. Yeah. Something. Trouble. No. It is. No, oh, I, I knew, knew you were you were trouble, trouble but uh, it's close. That close. I would still no, give it to you. No, 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 no. Hey, don't give on. it to me. No, don't give it to you. That wasn't the title if of the song. If you can sing it, you get the point. That's okay. Yeah. Did Taylor Swift an injustice there? We're ready. All right. Question number seven. English to tie back to English. Perfect. Cool. I do not want to live forever because I know that I will live in vain. And I do not want to fit anywhere. <laughs> I just want to call you until you go home. <laughs> I just wish this was an English song. Yeah, that oh sounds gosh. pretty accurate. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm out. English to tie I feel English. like at this point, just the first one to answer is going to be the best. <laughs> yeah. so. Do you read it one more time? Let me, yeah, let me yeah. sing the tune. I don't, don't want to live forever. Yeah, yeah, it's. Yeah, oh. dude, I'm dude, like yeah, really. The lyrics I'm like proud of you guys for even knowing this. Live forever okay. by Eris. <laughs> Give us the lyrics again. No. All right. Um, I do not want to live forever because I know that I will live in vain, and I do not want to fit anywhere. Oh. I just oh. want to call you. Was this until in the point that I might? I don't know. It, is it is? Oh. It, I don't want to live forever. Yeah. What, what is that song? <laughs> You're thinking Bon Jovi. <laughs> you guys are, know. but it's not right. It's I, not right? I'm going to go out on a limb and say this could be uh, another Taylor Swift song with, I believe, Zayn. I don't wow. want to wow. live forever. I'm just going to go with it. I don't want to nice. live forever is our answer. That's killer. Whoa, Aaron. Aaron. Oh. Nice. That's Aaron. You killed it, man. I know Zane my, I know my uh, language. Wow. What was Zane, dude. All right, That's just awesome. yeah. so everyone knows what? I'm not a complete idiot. Pastor Daniel was singing the tune to the air or the, the, the <laughs> Bon Jovi is? song. That's honestly, it's a Bon Jovi. We got yeah. direction. That's Number eight. I, I don't want to live yeah. forever. I got Let's a long go. altar call. We got to. <laughs> All right. Number eight. Here we go. English to Philip, Filipino back to English. Here we go. And you do not need to change something. The world can change its heart. No scars on your beautiful. We are stars and we're good. Oh, 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 oh. Pass. Ooh. I believe, do you guys like, uh, is it Alicia Cara? No. no clue. Who did you say? Oh. Alicia Cara? Cara? Uh, uh, Alisa? I'm, I'm not going to try it, but I know what you mean. <laughs> I, I don't this know. Is, the, this uh, is Adele Swift. It's Adele something. Swift. It's a beautiful song. It is. S scars, scars, scars to, to your beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. yeah. By, can we just look? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> hey, all right. See, so you're right. So Aaron, that was good. Whoa. Nice. That was a tag team. That was Dude, good. You guys all right. Cool. Rock. Well done, fellas. All right, we're ready. Number nine. Okay. English oh, to Latin hard. to English. Ooh. Latin. Yep. It's back to back to English. Wait. When I was seven years old. No, my oh, mom yeah. was seven years. By seven. Do you years have friends by. and go only? 
go out only when you what? when I was seven years seven old. Seven years, uh, Lucas Graham. Lucas Graham. Yeah. It was not a nice. good song. Just going to come out right and say I didn't like <laughs> really it. Well, Last all right, one. All here right. we go. This nice, is dude. Number this 10. This is for all the marbles. English to Irish. Back to English. Don't let your oh. Irishman down. Here is you go. Irish and Link? You call me out on the waters. The oh. great unknown oh. where the feet uh, go. Of all course. Right. All together. And I'll get you in the mystery. In the deep ocean, my faith will stand. Faith stands in where? Oceans, Planet Shakers. Oceans, close, but yeah, we'll go with Oceans by uh, <laughs> Planet Shaker. Sure. This nice. was awful. Uh, the Gaither, sorry. Yes, Oceans oh, by Hillsong. We, we were that close. You wow, that was awesome. that was not bad, guys. Good I'm job. like kind of proud of us. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. Number seven, good. eight, and nine. I looked at the screen. Oh, oh dude, no. <laughs> are you serious? We needed help. I was so proud of like you for knowing those. <laughs> I'm honest. I'm speaking soon. So. All yeah, right. I think MVP go, that game true. though goes past Mike for oh, uh, the way that he pronounced all those. Well done, everyone. Uh, but you know, most people think, uh, "Gosh, that we just come up on this, come up with this stuff off the top of our heads." But that just simply isn't true, man. We have to really think about this stuff, and we come up with things on the spot through uh, prayer. What's that? Through prayer. Through prayer and through through meditation. But, and but sometimes prayer isn't enough, and we the, need a little. That's true. We need a little action. bit of help, and so we go to the internet to get it. That's so right. So let's uh, let's roll out our secret sauce. Professionals. Some of the best preachers I know spend weeks on a sermon. But if you take this class, I'll teach you how to do it in 30 minutes. Does Axe Body Spray give you PTSD? Do you spend hours reviewing the latest Nerf guns on Amazon? If you can answer yes to either of those questions, <laughs> buckle up. It's about to get wild. We often forget that leading middle school and high school students it's so much more than biblical teaching, building relationships. It's about nachos, dodgeball, and so much more. You go to camp with 60 kids, you come back with two missing. That's a pretty good ratio. I count that as a win. You need to always know where the fire extinguishers are located. Who knew that pizza rolls could be so flammable? Students will try to convince you to do lock-ins. Don't do it. Hear me out. Ultimate Squibby. It's like ultimate frisbee, but played with a live squid. Some will ignore the clearance section at Walmart, but for youth pastors, it's an endless field of opportunity. My passion is serving those who serve, especially within youth ministry. But I'm gonna tell you how it is. You forget a kid's name? Don't sweat it. Friend, chief, sport, buddy, throw slugger. Hey brother, hey sister. I will give you life-changing tips that will double the size of your youth group within six months. Unless your kids play sports, then they're probably not gonna come. When times get tough and life gets hard, we must remember why we do the things we do for the money. <laughs> I can't, I, I just, that's, that's funny. <laughs> for the money, we don't get paid a lot. Do you think we should make a master class for worship pastors? Oh, no. No, no, no. No. Yeah. They, they think they know everything already. Yeah. Yeah. Too cool. <laughs> I wear sk All right, there we go. We are in our final week of our Love Hate series, and I'm going to be honest with you, I drank way too much water before our service started, so um, I'm going to love when this is over with so that I could hit the restroom. But tonight is the conclusion, week three of Love Hate, and I'm going to start out tonight by sharing with you two things that I love and one thing that I hate. First of all, I love getting to work each week with Pastor Carl, Pastor Daniel, and Pastor Mike. It's truly been so exciting to do that, and also the many volunteers that we have each week. It's been such a joy. I hate that we are going to be ending next week, but I also love the idea that we are going to be back together as a youth group July 1st. I'm looking forward to that day. And I'm sure there's many of you watching tonight who have kind of hated this quarantine as much 
as we have, and I'm right there with you. It's been tough. However, I want to encourage you to really take some time and really think so, through some of the lessons that God has maybe been trying to teach you throughout this quarantine. As we get closer to some kind of normal, um, I want you in the comments below to tell me one thing that you can't wait to do when you get back to a normal life. When everything opens back up, what's the one thing that you are looking forward to on the other side? I know for me, I've really been missing like going shopping, and it's because a lot of my dress shirts that I used to wear are just oversized, and I need new clothes desperately. So this Friday, Abby and I are going down to Hagerstown to the outlets because we heard that quite a few stores are opening up, and that's really exciting. So I'm happy to finally go shopping in places other than Target and Amazon. Um, but speaking of stores, have you ever noticed that when you go to a store or you see a company that they have a, a sort of like reputation that goes along with them, with their brand. Have you ever noticed that? Here's what I mean by that. I'm going to read to you a reputation of a brand and a company. And in the comments below, I want you to be the first person to guess what company it is that I'm referring to with their slogan. So here's the first one. Two days or less, lightning fast shipping. Two days or less, lightning fast shipping. What is that company that I'm referring to? The answer is Amazon. Pretty simple. Here's another one. Lowest price always. Lowest price always. Can you get that one, anybody here? Walmart. Yeah, Walmart. How about this one? We have the meats. I mean, it's the goat. Arby's. Okay, here's another. Free music streaming. That's right, it is Spotify. Congrats to Matt, our media guy. And then last but not least, best chicken sandwich ever. Yeah, Popeyes. It is Popeyes, not Chick-fil-A. You were wrong. Forever, Team Popeyes. Well, anyways, here's the point. Companies, they hire hundreds of people and spend billions of dollars trying to shape something that every one of us has and most of us spend very little time thinking about, and that is our reputation. You know, reputations are made up of a whole list of things, and they bring about all kinds of assumptions about who we are. Just think about your schools and the different groups or even your youth groups. I'm sure you have made assumptions based off of the people who are around you and are part of them. Assumptions like every rich kid is blank. Or AP honors students are blank. How about classmates who go too hard in gym class are what? I, I used to call them tryhards, right? Or gym class heroes. Or how about people who are really into band and drama? They're, they're what? How do you define that? How do you fill in the blank? Or kids who vape are what? We didn't have any vapors back in my day, but I'm sure we would have had something to describe that crew. Anyways, <laughs> I'm sorry. There's people behind the cameras right now making me laugh, so just throwing it out there. So even though we may not say those things out loud, uh, we all tend to fill in the blanks about other people. We assume we know what to expect from them now, and what they're capable of, and even how they're going to respond in any kind of situation. Perhaps our, our assumptions are just that. They're assumptions, and yet we put a bunch of stock into those assumptions. We label people not because we know them, but because we lack experiences with them. And we have our own insecurities that lead us to conclusions that, quite frankly, are not even true. There's a moment in the life of Jesus that I believe is going to help us with what we're discussing right now. Jesus was in the middle of a tense encounter with some of the religious leaders in Israel at that time. And so this group was trying to back Jesus into a corner with questions in hopes that they could maybe cause him to stumble or to prove that he was a phony, that he really wasn't the Messiah. 
And so during one of these encounters, after some people uh, had gathered to listen to Jesus teach in the temple, the religious leaders, they caught a woman who committed adultery, uh, and they brought her before Jesus. And this is what it says in John chapter 8, verses 3 through 6. Let's uh, follow along here. So Jesus, as he was speaking, the teachers of the religious law and the Pharisees, they brought a woman who had been caught in the act of adultery. They put her in front of the crowd, and they said, Teacher, to Jesus, this woman was caught in the act of adultery. The law of Moses says to stone her, what do you say? And so they were trying to trap him into saying something they could use against him. What's striking in this passage is that it says that she had been caught in the act. Literally, she was committing adultery when the leaders found her. That's pretty crazy. Let's continue with the story. It says, but Jesus stooped down and he wrote in the dust with his finger. And he kept demanding an answer. So he stood up and he said, let the one who has never sinned throw the first stone. Then he stooped down again and he wrote in the dust. When the accusers heard this, they slipped away one by one, beginning with the oldest, until only Jesus was left in the middle of the crowd with the woman. Then Jesus stood up again and said to the woman, where are your accusers? Didn't even one of them condemn you? No, Lord, she said. And Jesus said, neither do I go and sin no more. Then one by one, again, these leaders realized that their plan backfired. And Jesus kindly and lovingly releases this woman who is literally afraid for her life and tells her to go in freedom and to live her life differently. Jesus challenged the woman to change by saying, go and sin no more. Jesus proved that we are more than the assumptions or judgment other people make, and we can extend that same forgiveness and grace and love to other people too. That is the challenge of this scripture, of this passage. What if this was the approach that you and I took when forming opinions or thoughts about other people? What if that is how we chose to let love fill in the blank? This would change a lot about many people. And we may end up realizing that, you know what? We're not as terrible of people as maybe we've come to believe ourselves. In other words, when we fill in the blank with judgment or hate, we're only seeing part of a person. Their actions, whatever they did that was wrong or something that maybe we didn't even like. But when we fill in the blank with love, we are seeing people for what they are, and that is humans. More than they have or haven't done, but as individuals, as people whose story isn't over, whose story isn't, isn't even written yet. And before I go on with any of the notes, I think that's a perfect way to describe what we're dealing with with our country right now. Somebody believes in, you know, the, the extremeness of uh, the coronavirus, or you see injustice take place in our streets, you see protests, you see all these things taking place. How are you defining those people that maybe you disagree with? Are you calling them crazy? What, what are you saying about those people? I want to encourage you, kind of like what we just said with this story, let love fill in the blank of those people. Lead with love first, then trying to put assumptions on people that you don't even no. See, when the opportunities for assumptions and judgments begin forming in your mind, I want to encourage you to take these steps towards a new approach. Here's two things that we can walk away with tonight that I don't want you to just hear, but I want you to apply and to live out with every relationship or with every encounter that you have with people that you don't even know. The first one is this. Stop and think about how others have filled in the blanks about you. We never like when people make judgments about us. So let's do what Jesus modeled. Let's treat others in the way that we would like to be treated. Stop and think about how, the, how others have filled in the blanks about you. I'm sure many times people have labeled you in a wrong way and it's hurt in some way or another. If we didn't like that, then why are we doing it to others? Number two, think about how you've wrongly filled in the blanks for someone else. 
Who is someone you think you know, but you really don't? What if you choose to let love fill in the blank or what we think about someone now and what we expect from them in the future? I remember in college there was a friend of mine. I don't think she's watching tonight, so I'll just call her for what it is. Uh, Carla. Um, I didn't know Carla, but uh, she, she was somebody my freshman year. She was a senior that I just didn't really care for. I, I saw her quite a bit, didn't really know her, and I just made all these assumptions about her. And then I graduated college, stayed on staff, and she was around in that community at that time. And for some reason, we just connected. And I'm telling you what, she's one of the coolest people I've ever met to this day because I chose to really throw away the assumptions and to lean into that relationship and break through those barriers that I created in my mind. And those assumptions that I made about her my freshman year, they actually never lived up to who she really was. So uh, that, that's an example right there of, of something that you can do with other people. Who, who are you going to uh, really influence or go after that you've made assumptions about right now? See, when we choose to follow the example of Jesus and we take these steps, we're choosing to let love fill in the blank instead of our quick or shallow assumptions about them and judgments about who they are now and who they can become. Just imagine with me for a moment, what would happen if this was how we spent our time forming opinions of those around us? Instead of assumptions, stereotypes, or maybe even preconceived notions based on a part of a person, we would be people who believed everyone in this world is worthy of love and has hope for a great future. If this is really what Jesus is about, Doesn't it cause you to, I don't know, be a little more interested in his brand? We can be people who let love fill in the blank about other people. When we do this, we will be people known for our love for others just like Jesus was and just like Jesus intended for his people to be. And I want to encourage by closing with this. Let love fill in the blank. Jesus' followers are supposed to be known first and foremost for their love. Not their assumptions, not their judgments, not their hate, but for being people of love. Do people know you as a Christ follower or do they know you more for your citizenship here in America? I don't know about you, but my citizenship is in heaven and I want people to know me for being a Christ follower first and foremost over being even American. And I said it this past Sunday, we are blessed to live in this land, but there's a land that is greater to come. And I'm looking forward to that day. So we have an opportunity to love people so that they experience heaven on earth. Let love fill in the blank. And I'm challenging you tonight. If you made assumptions or judgments about people that you don't even know, take some time to slow down and to listen and to let love lead you to those that maybe you've pushed aside. With that said, I want to conclude this message in this series with a prayer And uh, we want to encourage you to love more than you hate. Let's hate sin. Let's love the things that God wants us to love. And let's reach the people he's called us to reach. Let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you for this night. And Lord, uh, what a great opportunity that we have to connect together, even if we're online. And Lord, we're so thankful that we've had these past 11 weeks to come together as a group to learn more about your word and to learn more about what you're calling us to and you're challenging us to. And God, first and foremost, as a Christ follower, you called us to love. The greatest commandment is to love God, the second of which is the same, to love people. And so God, I pray right now that we would be people who would focus in on love over assumptions, love over judgment, love over hate. God, I thank you that the challenge is also Um, attached with the power of the Holy Spirit. God, you do not call us to something that we are not equipped to do. And so we thank you that your Holy Spirit can take this heart of stone, Lord God, and create it into something that is is, uh, open to loving and to receiving other people into our lives. So help us, Lord God, to really pursue you, but to lead with love and all we say and do. And Lord, as we go into these summer months, I know we've been experiencing this home life for these past few months with no school. But as we go into these summer months, I pray that you create opportunities to break down some of those walls that we've created with other people. 
Help us, Lord God, to DM or to reach out in some way to those that we have mislabeled. And let us recognize that you didn't judge us, but you loved us. And that's why you sent your son to this earth. Lord, help us to live out this mission that you've called us to do. In your name, amen. 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 Thanks, Pastor Aaron. Amen. Appreciate, uh, appreciate your message. Appreciate the timeliness of it all. And uh, man, how, how true are those words to really think about ourselves first in, in that in that format that you were saying of like how would other people for, like fill in the blanks about us yeah and then like to really think about that and think well listen i don't i don't want people to think that of me i don't want people to to just judge me off of a whim you know or off of a first uh of a first time we meet but then to also turn that around and really apply that to our own lives and how we do that exact same thing to others um, I love what you said about just Jesus, you know, obviously first and foremost loving us, but then calling us to be that love to other people. Like in, in today's world, I mean, you know, you guys know with everything that's going on, with everything that's tugging at heartstrings and tugging at uh, justice, you know, and, and, and race and all these different things that are in um, and prevalent in our culture today, like those things so much so demand and call for the love and respect of the Christian community and the Christian church as a, as a whole. Um, and so I just really appreciated your message. Thanks yeah. for closing us out there. Mind if I say one more thing? No, absolutely. Go um, for it. Sorry. I, it just popped in my, my head, but I was showing you guys a little bit earlier a YouTube channel that I started watching. Uh, I believe it's Jeremiah Torres. I think yeah. that was the name. Um, but literally, uh, un he's, he's not a Christian, and these past three weeks, he's come out with these videos where he watches music videos of Christian music, and he's been going through a lot of Hillsong, and hearing songs for the very first time and kind of describing mm -hmm. from a musician stand standpoint how good they are musically, lyrically, all that stuff, and it's been cool these past three weeks where he's never listened to Christian music to see him kind of soften up and be broken yeah. down by the lyrics, by the music, by the passion from those on the team. But this past week, he, um, he covered the song Reckless Love, and he actually tried to describe it. And mm. he said, this is my big hang-up with Christians. We talk about this God of love, and God calls us to love. But when I look around, I ask, where are the Christians loving other people? That's good. And that was, a, that was pretty tough. And He's not a Christian, but I feel like that's a big hang up for him. I would, but I'm seeing the way his followers are living, and I just don't know if I could commit to that. Yep. So. It just goes to show how important it is that, that we live out the way that God calls us to live in, in right. loving other people. And that's why we've gone through this series on love and hate, because it's such a big deal in the, the world and the culture that we live in. Yep. Um, so we hope you guys have enjoyed um, this series on, on love and hate. We, we're wrapping it up tonight, obviously. Um, so that kind of has us asking the question of what's next. We've got a youth group live next week, but uh, as far as us personally, right, we're in full summer season mode, right? So that's, that's pretty much vacay mode for most of us. So yeah. where, where do you guys have uh, big trips planned this summer? <laughs> nice. Carl? What, what's, what do you call this? Like there's, uh, there's water that comes in the, and there's the, sand? The ocean, the beach. Not the ocean. Yeah. What's that word again? The beach? That's where I'm going. I'm going the there beach. in July. I'm looking forward to it. I'm cool. going to take my kid. I'm going to get my sunburn on. All right. Nice. It's going all to be right. fun. Pastor Aaron, what about you? Uh, all over the place. All right. That's uh, good. A couple months ago, we were planning to go to Maine. And because Maine is a big tourist spot, they're like, we don't want people. Oh. So we were like, okay, end of June trip. Let's cancel. A couple weeks ago, trip's back on. Wow. <laughs> a couple days later, trip's off again. Oh, boy. A couple days later. Hey, it looks like the governor is changing kind of some of the rules. Trips back on Yay. yesterday. Those rules begin July 1st. Oh, the trip man. is supposed to be in like two weeks. Oh, my God. Trips back off. Man. So we moved That's it to a... August. Okay, and so you should be safe. The hard part is I have to take a, a, a coronavirus test. Oh, no. And I've seen some of those videos of it like being shot up the nose, and I have to show within 72 hours that I'm clean. That's... Um, so I'm just praying for... Right now, till that day that they, they find a different it. way of testing. Yeah. yeah. Um, but man, it's That's been scary. like 
Snip, snap, snip, snap. You know? Right, back and forth. <laughs> right? <laughs> how long? How many, how many times does it take changing it? You know, you yeah. have no idea the, the mental toll that that takes on a person. You know? yeah. anyway. Pastor Mike, what about you? Yeah, yeah that's tough, man. Um, gosh, no, we, for vacation, we always go and visit my wife's family. And my wife's family's from Indiana State. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh, I thought you not, said India. Oh, my gosh. Not I have had India. the wrong impression. Not India and not Indiana, Pennsylvania. But. Uh, Indiana State. State, so it's about it's about an hour drive with kids. It can sometimes be like nine or so hours, but uh, it's not too bad. It just takes up our whole day. But we go out there, and her mom actually lives on a lake, not Ooh. in like the middle of a lake, not okay. that, not like that, That's but awesome. <laughs> right on the side. And um, yeah, man. So we just enjoy lake life for like a week, a week and a half, and it's just it's just awesome. So I'm really looking Good forward stuff. to that. That's awesome. What about cool. you? Uh, I mean, I have nothing like planned for the summer uh, in let's, October. Let's be honest, you kind of travel like every other month. Listen, so. I, I'm at a point in a life where it's like yeah. just me and I'm just hanging out and so sometimes I pick up for a weekend and go away. But no, uh, my, my, uh, my family and I were trying to plan a, a trip to Hawaii in October. Nice. Ooh, it's not, not exactly a, a summer travel plan, but we're, we're getting there. Hawaii. Hawaii. Yeah. I love Texas. Going to go see where uh, Lost was filmed? Yeah, I f have not seen Lost, so Ooh. I'll admit that. Okay. Oh. Well, with that, uh, yeah. this is our second to last week. It's sad. So it's really as soon sad. as I say, see you next week, we're on to our last week. Oh, it's true. That's but before sad. I describe a little bit of what's happening next week, I do want to give one shout out, and that is to Emily Hoover. She is our home hunt winner. You oh. can see on the screen behind nice, me um, that she found all wow. of... The prices, and I'm guessing that Chick Fil A. Oh my goodness, Cool Runnings! Wow, that is the favorite. Raw that is awesome. Yo, so that Raw mug, right? The Pac-Man mug. I'm all about that. Look at That's that insane. hammer too. Wow. Talk about manly, and That's that toilet good. paper Love looks it. like a good, uh, a good quality good roll. roll. Good quality roll. <laughs> a, a small plant there. Yeah. Listen, she got it all. And Pac-Man, classic, great. awesome. So Congratulations, yeah, Emily Bravo. Hoover. Good job. Uh, and with that said, we just want to close out tonight by once again pointing to next week, our oh, yes. final youth group live. So, All yeah. good things yeah. must come to an end. But we are going out with a bang. Who do we so, got? Well, for we our, got our the lives. one, the only, because he's paying us at least $30. For sure. Shane McClanahan's yeah. coming back. <laughs> hey, Shane, I think as of yesterday, he's pledged $50 he's going to pay to come. That's wow. great. $50 bucks, to speed so the light. Guy. Yeah, Shane McClanahan And last but not least, who said he'd double whatever Shane McClanahan the one, the only. He requested to come. He wanted to come. Lee Rogers back in the yes. house. Oh, yeah. Lee Rogers is coming wow. back. And That'd so, again, we just want to encourage you. If you want to come as a student, it's $2 per person. And then if you're a youth leader, we're looking at 5 bucks. Yeah. You don't so. even have to watch it online next week. You can be here come in, in person. person. Us four. Did we Shane mention McClane? the time yet? 6.30. 6.30. 6 be here at 6.30. Yeah. It's really important because it's a time change. So... Uh, all the media people, we didn't tell you yet, but 6.30 next Surprise. week as well. Whoops. We're uh, so excited. It's going to be good. Yeah. Well, with that said, I uh, just want to conclude tonight by saying let's lead with love and let's throw out the hate. Unless it's the Yankees, the Steelers, or who else? Uh, the Penguins. The all right. Well, you can get behind it's that? been great to talk to you. I'm sorry, Alyssa. See you next week. Don't hate the Steelers. Have a good week, guys. <laughs>